What's up guys? My name's Daniel. I'm in the coach, about to go get some gas. Uh, gonna get our video tour started here in just a few minutes. Um, while I'm sitting here, I thought I'd show you a couple of things. Okay, right now we're sitting at idle. You can see all the gauges are working well. <laughs> As I said, I'm about to get some gas. We need to do that. But uh, everything's good to go. Um, got a basic radio basic stereo system got a couple of good speakers and uh it's, it's bluetooth capable it's all you really need uh we do have a, a digital speedometer here also compass got a couple other functions on it and this is a four-way camera system just wanted to show uh this is the passenger i'm sorry this is the driver's side passenger side this is rear center coming down from the roof and this is under the rear hitch. It does have a, uh, a, tow, a towing package. Now, you don't have to have all four of those on. Uh, you can, let's see, there's a mode button. Let's see, that changes. That's a weird configuration, but um, anyway, that, that's the, uh, the hitch camera. Um, that is the top center rear camera. And this is the passenger camera and this is the driver's side camera and this is I think hitch camera and driver's camera I believe anyway this is the one I like to usually keep it on that shows you drivers uh, and uh, passengers okay so there is that and let's Let's uh, get out of this thing and get this tour going. This is our 1996 Coachman Class A RV. This is the 360 MB. It is 36 feet long. It is powered with a Ford 460 Big Block V8 and E4OD transmission. It's about 324 square feet. We have a slide out here that is 12 feet uh, by three feet, so it adds about an extra 36 square feet inside. That matters when you're living tiny for sure. So we bought this vehicle in 2016. It had been completely gutted. There was nothing in it, no plumbing, no electrical, no nothing. Uh, so we completely redid the interior and we went residential and that was going to add a lot of weight or a considerable amount. So. What you see here is a tag axle. I was looking for that. It was pretty important to me. It adds a uh, stability and will handle the extra weight that we knew we were gonna add. Underneath the coach, we have one, two, three uh, storage compartments. That shorter one there is where your plug-in cable is. It is uh, 110 volts and 50 amps. Uh, and those are just uh, storage. Um, moving along here, we have a storage compartment. Actually, my bad. It is the uh, uh, your sewer and water hook, your fresh water hookup and your sewer hookup. So we have a, it has a black water tank and a gray water tank, which is what these two valves are. That's what they control. And this is your fresh water hookup cable here. And this is actually just a uh, support system for your sewer line when you hook up and that is the actual hookup so everything works as it should this vehicle is not we we knew we would have all the power and sewer hookup that we needed we were not concerned about living off the grid you can easily set it up to live off the grid um, if you so choose you would need to probably add a generator which ha it has a compartment for there's no generator in this vehicle this is where you would put it and a water tank there's actually probably several places you could add a water tank if that's what you wanted to do but it's quite it's quite a big vehicle 36 feet moving along to the back it also has a back porch that yeah if you climb that ladder you pull out a couple of pins uh, the whole thing will come down with the press of a button and also top center is uh, the rear view camera and and then underneath the tow package is a license plate camera moving on around we're gonna start at this rear compartment 
open this up. This is the hot water heater. It is propane and tankless. So that uh, is a 20, 20 pound propane tank, I believe. It would last us three to four weeks for a family of four. I thought that was great. And uh, we this hot water heater did not let me down. It's uh, all the hot water you can stand and hotter than you can stand. So good stuff. Right next to it, just another storage compartment. And yes, those are uh, water lines going to the uh, water heater. This compartment, check out right quick. It's just the battery and hydraulic pump that operates the 12 foot slide out on the driver's side. Oh yes, and a big storage spot up top. And I'm, this is just another storage compartment. We have chairs and a roadside service kit emergency kit rather and this compartment is just the main battery and also this is the hydraulic pumps that operate the stabilizer jacks that's a good thing about an rv i guess is you have jacks you have four jacks uh, if you're not on level ground especially when you are looking to get set up um, and get the thing level uh, you can just hit some buttons and get it totally level. Okay. And the air conditioners are good to go. They are Penguin Dometic 2s. Can't really see them from here, but they're on the roof. 15,000 BTUs. And they are also serviceable. All right, let's uh, take a look at the interior here. Open up. First thing we're gonna do is we have a switch here and hit this switch and the stairs will come out. Excellent. Okay, we're going on in and this is our shoe closet. It could be whatever you wanted, but plenty of room in there. Got a hook there for book bags or whatever. And this is the cockpit, and it is quite the spot. This chair is so great. And uh, anyway, you have a great view of the coach looking back this way towards the fireplace and flat screen TV. Also, while we're looking at the cockpit, we have room darkening curtains that go all the way around. And they also do a good job of keeping the heat out, coming through that windshield in the summer, summer months. We're in the South Carolina area. Gets, gets hot, so uh, so that was a plus. Okay, next, our Whirlpool Gold refrigerator. This is nearly a full-size fridge. It does everything we needed it to do. Uh, it also will hold gallon-sized jugs on the door, so that was a plus. And the freezer is quite sizable too for, uh, you know, uh, for a unit that is this size when you're living tiny. Moving right along, this is our dinette. Now, this is where we enjoyed our meals, unless we were eating outside. Um, but uh, most of the time it was right here, and it was, it was enough space. It was plenty of room for, uh, for four of us. Also, um, this is where you sit when, well, passengers would sit when the RV's in motion. So obviously you have these two chairs which turn around, and then you could have four people here, two people here, two people here, and yes, there are seat belts here for that very reason. Now, moving right along, we have storage underneath, and these are about four feet deep, so this is a good, good bit of storage. And here's a drawer on this side. It is a big drawer. Lots of, we, we store clothing in this, but you know, whatever. Okay. The slide out itself, it's 12 feet by three feet. So the slide goes from here all the way to here. So it encompasses the dinette and the bunk beds. Now, as I said, the whole place was gutted. This whole unit was gutted when we bought it. So 
everything in here is custom, but I'm particularly fond of these bunk beds. They are quite amazing. I was a little bit jealous of both daughters when they were sleeping in them because they're so cozy. Loving it. You just slide this thing back and look at all this space. Also, the upper bed has the window. So yes, the older daughter took that over. And the window is tinted, so you can see out, but can't see in. Uh, but anyway, I really like, I like that. I think we dressed them up nice. Now, make a comment here. You notice this one, you think, how do you get in this? Well, this is an extra mattress that we have in here. All of these mattresses we had made for the coach. And so the mattress for this bunk bed, all of the same bedding material is in here. This mattress, however, is for the dinette. Now, this dinette, if you're having a guest, you can take a couple of pins out. This folds up, and the dinette itself drops to right here. Once you do that, you then take the uh, mattress, and it sets right there. And you got, then you're sleeping five. Yes, we did it. It is, uh, yeah, five people and 324 square feet. That's fired up. You're going to get real close. You're going to get to know each other like never before. So exciting. One night it was actually my mother-in-law. That's another story for another time. So anyway, uh, moving along. Actually, it was, what, two weeks. Wow. So moving right along, more storage above the television and uh, here and here. Um, now, this is a 40-inch uh, flat screen. It is a smart TV. And it does have a remote. Also, our fireplace. This thing is awesome. It's 1,500 watts. And if you leave the door, I've got all the doors open in the coach right now. If you leave them open, this thing will pretty much heat the whole thing. Now, my wife does get a little colder than most. I'm not saying that from time to time we did not have a, a little ceramic heater in the very back. But this thing did most of the work. So that was great. The kitchen area. Another thing I want to say is when the slide comes in, when it's time to go, when you set the jacks down, you pull the slide in, we had to decide uh, did, how much counter space did we want. And since we were living here, we wanted some extra counter space. We wanted all we could get. So we chose an L-shaped countertop. Now when the slide comes in, yes, there is an, obviously there's enough room for the slide to come in, but it comes to like right here. So when the coach is in motion, the only way you're getting to the bathroom is to hop over the counter. That was just something we decided we were willing to do. Um, but other than that, you've got plenty of seating for everyone while you're going down the road. Now, in the kitchen area, we have a wine glass rack. We have storage. This is actually, this is an extra outlet up here. And this uh, switch actually controls the LEDs. And if, if they're too bright, you can, you know, you can dim them down. Um, and same here. Um, paper towels, drawer, storage, trash can, and more storage. I mean, I really could have cared less about storage, but I know women are all about storage. So more storage, the better. This is under the sink and more storage over here. And we've got another outlet under there. And we have three drawers that look just like that. All right, moving along, we have, you know, trying to figure out where to put pots. This is where we put them. Obviously, you don't want your pots hanging when you're driving down the road. You will go insane. Um, yeah, it's not it's not a music that is uh, easy on the ears. So, but it's great when you're when you're set up and you're you're parked and you're just living life. Easy to get to. And they hang above our oven. Yes, yeah, just an Oster oven, but um, it holds a lot of food. We could put a full-size pizza in it, and uh, it did everything we needed it to do. So that was good. Also, you can have whatever cooktop you wanted over here. We just used a hot plate, sometimes a griddle, like if we were cooking uh, pancakes or whatever. Um, and then this is a Whirlpool Gold microwave. It is a big microwave. So I know some people cook a lot in a microwave. We did. And uh, you could, gosh, you could probably fit a, tur a big turkey in this thing, um, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But anyway, uh, we got a fan. It, it, it does have an exhaust fan, two fans. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Now this, this is the, this is getting creative on space. This is our dryer, our clothes dryer. So there you go. 
it's a higher and uh, underneath is storage um, for laundry detergent etc and there that is and then we can't forget spice rack how awesome is that you gotta have spices it doesn't matter where you are you gotta spice it up you know there it is i i built that that's all and look i even i did all of that isn't that exciting i mean you can put all your little spice my wife was excited about it anyway okay so now that i'm moving into the bathroom this is a pocket door i will show there it is okay goes in and then we have little latches that hold these things open so when you're driving they're not banging around coming on into the bathroom here next thing dryer same name brand it's a hire it works i'm sorry washer um clothes washer it works great and also basket storage, you know, you got to have a place to put stuff, toiletries, whatever you want. Um, medicine cabinet. There you go. Nice lighting. Um, this is a solid surface. Uh, um, what's the word? Um, vanity. Um, plenty of storage, more storage. All right, moving on around. All right, this is, uh, oh, first, this is the toilet. No, I'm not gonna sit on it. However, uh, it is a residential toilet. Um, we decided, um, you know, RV toilet wasn't an option. And I know people are into these composting toilets. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I just had to add the real thing. So there you go, real toilet. Move, residential rather, move it around. Okay, this is our shower. Is also a tub, but it's a small tub, but it's really all you need. Now, I'm not tall, I'm 5'8", but, uh, and also there's no light in here. You could add a light if you wanted, but there's a skylight, so it, tons of light during the daytime. Um, I'm pretty sure there's enough light for us to be able to see. See me get in, I can stand up. Um, and here we are. Now, the cool thing is I can also sit down. So we've got a seat here and you got plenty of room. Now, if you got a if you got a toddler or something, this tub is actually big enough to set them down in the tub and bathe, bathe your kid. Coming out, oh yeah, this is making the more use of space. Trying to dress it up a bit, uh, just space. You could put some shelving in there if you wanted. Toilet paper holder, paper towel holder, just basic necessities. Okay, moving into the master bedroom. This is the pocket door for it also. So, nice walnut finish. I like it. Okay, slide in and I'm going right here. Now this, uh, this bedroom is just big enough to get around the bed. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, here I am. It's a little snug, but uh, it works. The bed is a custom uh, mattress. It's a queen size. It's pillow top, nice and comfy. Um, so it was great. We got storage up top here. We also have, this is our air conditioner. These are 15, uh, these are, okay, I said it wrong earlier, I think. it's These are Dometic Penguin 2 air conditioners. They're 15,000 BTUs. We got one in the front. We got one in the back here in this bedroom. And uh, they work really well. Also, the back wall in the bedroom here is also the back porch. So with the press of a button, this goes down. For the sake of time, we're gonna throw a photo in the video so you can see what it looks like. Now, um, I don't want to forget about storage. Um, another storage place is underneath this bed. Uh, it is, I mean, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of room. Um, so there's a lot that could be done here. I mean, and some of you, if you wanted to, put a water tank, um, that would probably be one spot you could put it and you would still have room left over. So that's good to know. Okay. All right. So I think that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to, however, walk the length of the coach so you can kind of get an idea. Um, we got pretty good headspace. I mean, I'm five, eight, I believe, I believe it's six feet, five inches in here. I think that's right. It's on the list. It's on our original listing, but, um, anyway, it's, 
plenty of space. I'm walking on, walking. So, here I am. Alright guys, thanks for checking out our video. And, oh yeah, there's one other thing I did want to show you. This is our breaker box. So, 110 volts, 50 amps. We have two 15 amp breakers and one 20 amp breaker. Accessible right here by the door, easy to get to. And I don't know if I had mentioned it earlier, but I think I did. I think, I think that covers everything. All right, thank you for checking out our coachman. You guys have a great day.